UN Security Council emergency meeting over the, the tragic uh, plane crash and that was happening. People were blaming Russia. Uh, there was a lot of accusations flying around. RT's Marina Portnaya has been uh, following the session in New York for us. Um, Marina, just what, what happened actually at that emergency meeting? Because Russia's envoy seemed to be under quite a lot of pressure. A tough session for him. Uh, he sure was, and it was a tough session. Russian envoy to the UN, Vitaly Cherkin, uh, did urge council members from prejudging the outcome of an international investigation into the plane crash by using broad statements and insinuations that hold Russia accountable, because that's precisely what most Western countries of the Security Council did. Ambassador Cherkin said there are many unanswered questions, uh, such as why did the Ukrainian aviation dispatcher send a plane or allow a plane to enter an insecure, dangerous territory? Did Ukrainian aviation authorities do everything they could to prevent a disaster from occurring? And why didn't Ukraine close their airspace to all commercial civilian flights weeks or even months ago? Ambassador Cherkin says the Ukrainian government has not been showing military restraint as Western countries have insisted. He said, in contrary, uh, Kyiv's aggressive attacks and indiscriminate shelling of areas in eastern Ukraine uh, has led to more violence and clashes. And this is why Moscow insists that responsibility for the tragic plane crash lies with Kyiv. We've repeatedly warned of the dangers of solving Ukraine's political crisis through the use of force. We've been calling for respectful dialogue between the conflicting sides. However, at each stage, Kiev has chosen the wrong path, and their Western backers, and I'm speaking mainly of the United States, have pushed them to escalate the crisis. And now, when facing the catastrophic consequences of this course of action, they're trying to shift responsibility to Russia. Now, U.S. officials insist that a surface-to-air missile was used to shoot down the plane. U.S. Ambassador to the U.N., Samantha Power, says it's likely that an SA-11 uh, was actually used specifically uh, to down the Malaysian airliner. Uh, and the international community, she says, cannot rule out that Russian training or help for separatists uh, in, in eastern Ukraine was involved in, in shooting down the plane. Now, uh, many Western Council members also said that uh, the Ukrainian separatists have shot down several planes in, in recent days, which establishes their record and capability of activity. The Ukrainian ambassador told the council that he believes that the separatists, the anti kiev separatists, are armed with two missile systems capable of shooting down uh, a plane, such as the Malaysian Airlines, uh, Airlines plane we saw uh, come crashing down. He insisted that his government has evidence to back up the claim. Now, the UN Security Council has uh, expressed its condolences to the families of the plane crash victims and has also called for a full, thorough, and independent international investigation into the crash that claimed the lives of 298 innocent people. The Council is also urging all parties in Ukraine to grant investigators access to the site, insisting that if any evidence has been removed, it should be immediately returned. Now, Russian President Vladimir Putin and his American counterpart Barack Obama, who we just heard speaking, have both called for an immediate ceasefire in Ukraine as the international community responds to this tragedy and actually searches for the facts and the truth. There's a lot that we still do not know about what led to this tragedy and the loss of nearly 300 lives. Marina Portnaya speaking to us from New York about the latest emergency meeting of the UN Security Council. Thank you for the update.